In this tutorial, we will be talking about models in Impeka. Model content is created via area items with your preferred page builder and with no restrictions. First, we will see how to create custom global models. For this tutorial, we have created this area item. So let's click view to see its content. It's this one. And let's add this one in a global model. We go under Impeka, Global Models. And first we need to add a unique model ID. This one, for example. Next, we choose the model size. Let's try this one. And now we should pick uh, the area item that we want to use for our model. Last, we will choose if we want to trigger it on load and the seconds that will open after load. Let's try this one and we click this button. Our model is created. So we refresh here to see the result. And here it is. Nice, right? Now let's see how we can add a model in a specific page. We go to edit our home page, for example, with your preferred page builder, of course. And we go below to page options, models tab, and we click add model. Again, we have the same options here. We need to add a model ID. We will change it because it needs to be unique. We choose the model mode. We pick the area item. Let's try this one. And uh, we can choose if we want to trigger it on load. Here we will not do it because we will trigger our model by a button. So let's find our button. It's here. We go to edit uh, the settings. But just we, uh, we want to do here is uh, it's just to change the button link. So we go here and we add SARP and the model ID. This one, we set link, save changes, update. And let's see the result now. This is our button and here it is. This is our second model. Uh, you can change model background, this one, in uh, customize. So you can change the background color and background opacity. And uh, of course, you can also trigger models by other elements that have a link. For example, a text block with a link or menu items and whatever else you want. Uh, so easily, right? Uh, these were the models in Impeka. Thank you.